Hi there, Dave here again, and today I'd like to talk to you about the speed of USB flash drives. Now we know these flash drives are quite useful for taking data off of your computer and onto the flash drive, then you can put the data from this onto another computer or another device. But the speed at which you can transfer data to or from one of these devices varies a lot, and that's what I'd like to explain in this video. So if you were to buy one of these today, it would state how much storage space it has, normally measured in gigabytes, and also it would state whether it was a USB 2 device or a USB 3 device. USB 3 is supposed to be 10 times faster than USB 2. But what does this mean in real world tests? Well this will vary from one drive to another. For example, you may buy one USB 2 flash drive, and find that it's quite slow, then you might buy another USB 2 flash drive and find that it's even five times faster than the first one, even though they're both USB 2 standard flash drives. So to make sure that you don't end up buying a slow USB flash drive, the thing to look out for is its read and write speed. The read speed is how fast you can transfer data from the USB flash drive to your computer and the write speed is how fast you can transfer data from your computer and onto the USB flash drive. I have some examples here on my right. One of the slowest USB 2 flash drives I've come across had a read speed of only 6 megabytes a second and a write speed of only 3. Compare this to one of the fastest USB 2 flash drives I've come across which had a read speed of 30 megabytes a second and a write speed of 19 megabytes a second. Using these two examples, if you were to transfer a thousand songs onto the slower USB 2 flash drive, it would take over 20 minutes. But if you were to use the faster USB 2 flash drive, it would take only around three and a half minutes. And it's a similar story with USB 3 flash drives. Again, look for the read and write speed for each one to see how fast they are. Now, all USB 3 flash drives will be faster than all of the USB 2 flash drives, but not necessarily 10 times faster as some people state. Here on my right, I've put up one of the fastest USB 3 flash drives I've come across and compared this with one of the slowest USB 3 flash drives. Also, I've put up one of the fastest USB 2 flash drives I've come across and one of the slowest as well. By the way, if your computer only has USB 2 ports, a USB 3 flash drive will still work with your computer, but it will be operating around the top speed of USB 2, which is around 30 megabytes per second read and write speed. Now obviously, all USB flash drives vary in price. If you want one that's fast and gives you bang for your buck, I would recommend the SanDisk Extreme 3.0 drive. The 32GB version has a read speed of 190 megabytes a second and a write speed of 110. If you were to transfer a thousand songs onto one of these, it would only take just over 30 seconds, and the 64GB version is even faster still. Now, one other recommendation I have is the Kingston Hyper X. These are also fast flash drives, but they may be a little bit more expensive. One last thing I'd like to mention is that if you have a USB 3 flash drive and your computer has USB 3 ports, which, by the way, are normally coloured blue, then you can transfer data to and from the flash drive simultaneously. So that's another plus point for USB 3. So I hope this video was useful to you. I really wanted to explain the point that you may see two USB flash drives side by side and yet one could be as much as 50 times faster than the other one. So it's worth knowing your read and write speeds. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.